Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, John the Carnage here. And today, I'm gonna be bringing you guys another catfishing video. I'm not gonna be fishing in half of this video. First half, I'm gonna talk about my new setups, talk about when I got them, and just talk about getting them. I'm gonna jump straight into it because I know I'm gonna be rambling on for a little bit. If you watched my Catfish Journey Begins video back last year, you would know that when I started catfishing and when I've been catfishing recently, um, I've been using bass gear. I've been just using bass bait casting reels and bass rods. And it's a lot of fun to catch channel cats and, you know, flatheads and stuff like that on bass gear. And later last year, I wanted to get into catfishing even more. I wanted to start bank fishing for catfish, which usually requires a little bit more line than 30 yards that those bass reels can hold a 40 pound test. So I went ahead and picked up a new reel for catfishing. I looked at quite a few different reels. I looked at, you know, some cat maxes and it, it, ambassadors and it's been a little bit since I've, you know, looked for a reel. But I ended up settling on a Daiwa. I was either going to get a Seagate 35, one of the newer models, or I was going to get a Sea Line 47H or even a 27H. But I settled on this Daiwa Sea Line 47H. It's pretty much a trolling reel. It can hold easily over 100, 150 yards of 40 pound test. It has a clicker, a three or an eight three to one gear ratio. And it's all around just, just a pretty nice reel. It's a saltwater reel, obviously, it's a sea line, but it works great for catfishing. It has a clicker, can hold a lot of line. It is a level wind, and that's really all I needed in a reel. So I picked this up and I wanted to pick up another rod for it so I can use my bass gear and I can use, you know, this new catfishing setup. The rod I picked up was a Berkley Trilene Big Game, or just Berkley Big Game, eight foot medium heavy spinning rod. It's a, pretty much a surf rod, but you know, it's like a little catfish rod. It's a big game rod, whatever you want to use it for, big game, I guess. Catch damn bluegill on it if you want. I was excited to start using that rod, especially for bank fishing, because a longer rod, more line, more weight, and you just cast farther. A lot of times with the bank, you need to cast pretty far. And I don't think I've used that thing on a bank fishing trip once. I've just done a few catfishing trips since then, probably like five, uh, with Samuel on the boat. And uh, I hadn't caught a fish with that rod or reel until this last week. And I caught a seven and a half pound channel cat, which is most of the time what I'm, what I'm catching. You know, channel cats between three and 10 pounds on my lo local lakes. And uh, come to the conclusion that I like ugly sticks a lot. This is the reel that I've caught a few catfish on in the last few months. This is a Bass Pro P PQS 1000 XPS. It's a little barrel bait casting reel and it's a left-handed, holds about 35 yards of 40 pound test. And this is what I was catching all my fish on. This and an Ugly Stick GX2. You've seen this rod in my videos before. If you don't know much about fishing, an Ugly Stick is a very hard rod to break. I've broken a few rods since I started fishing and it's really annoying to have rods break when you spend a good amount of money on a rod and uh, I got my first ugly stick when I started fishing pretty much and I, I put that thing through hell I've caught some big bass on it and some decent catfish the one I've used is a medium action so when you catch a you know a three pound channel cat it puts a good bend in your rod and you have a lot of fun fighting that fish that rod is a little bit too stiff for my liking. So I switched out the big game rod for my Ugly Stick GX2. This is a 6.6 two piece medium action right here. This is the one I've used in the past. I have some uh, 3M reflective tape right there all along the rod blank. And I used acetone nail polish remover to rub off all the red, not all of it, but you can see, to rub off the red 3M text that was on it. And I also bought another Ugly Stick this is a seven foot medium action and another Daiwa Sea Line 47H. This is just a crazy good reel for $30. I got this other one this last week on eBay for an auction for $30. Works perfect. The gears are, are they're, they're super smooth. As previously mentioned, I have a spooled 40 pound Trilene Big Game. And down here, I have a, a top shot of 50 pound Trilene Big Game from anywhere from two 
to, to five foot leader of top shot and then i like using short leaders so this is probably like a nine ten inch leader right here of 50 pounds to a five or six aught eagle claw circle hook and a two ounce bell sinker this is the, the rig i've been using for a while i really like this rig and the clicker feature on this reel is just so amazing you engage the spool or disengage the spool engage the clicker and when a fish pulls line it clicks so no need for bells i mean i might end up using a bell someday just engage my reel so the fish hooks itself but it's such a beautiful setup an ugly stick gx2 and a die with sea line 47h i looked at some non-level wand casting reels for catfishing because i hear that the the level wand the actual uh, like gear track for it uh it wears out eventually and it'll break so we'll see i'll put these things through hell and, and i'll see if they break and if they do i'll either fix it or I'll, i might try to use it without i don't know if i can just take the track off and take the level one feature off and use it as a non-level one i don't know a nice medium action rod and a reel that can hold like 150 yards of 40 pound test that's a great setup for catfishing for me I'm trying to break these rods in i'm also breaking in a new microphone in this video it's a 15 dollar booyah i believe booyah m1 leveler mic that i got off of amazon so i'm gonna be breaking a few things in in this video and i will see you when i'm on the water all right so we're out here on a tuesday 70 something degrees it's probably like 73 75 as you can see probably in the water behind me it looks like dick it, it the the clarity is about uh fucking two centimeters the goal is to catch some shad today we haven't been able to catch shad all winter really we caught like one shad and then we caught a channel cat on it back in january i haven't been able to catch any shad so we're back up in the creek where we caught shad last year in the warmer months and we're gonna try to catch some try to find some if we don't succeed at that we're just gonna catch a few perch a few sunfish something to use as cut bait and then we're gonna anchor down and catfish but before we do all that because it's only like four o'clock or something right now we're gonna do some pan fishing and bass fishing so we'll see how we do hopefully the water isn't as muddy for bass fishing farther down the river because right now we are in a creek also it's very windy hopefully the wind isn't going to be as bad tonight but we're, we're kind of covered right now so you can't hear it too bad but i'm sure it's going to be hitting the microphone in the next few clips i got one i got one i got one shad all right 45 minutes later we have accomplished our mission and succeeded we have nine gizzard shad probably you know three three to six inches and two little thread fin shad well not too little two thread fin shad that will compromise we got plenty of bait uh, i don't expect to wear a ton of fish out the goal is to just get a couple fish you know a few fish and uh try breaking my rods hopefully samuel gets one because he hasn't caught a catfish on our catfishing trips in a few trips right now we're over here beating the banks this is what Samuel uh, live, lives to fucking do. Slam one out sinkers on tin roofs. All right, it's about 8.30 p.m. We didn't catch a single fish this afternoon. I got a few bites on the crappie jig. We didn't catch anything, but we caught the shad. We got the bait. So that's mission accomplished. We're set up here somewhere in this area. I'll put it on the screen of where we're trying to hit, like in this creek channel and kind of on this drop. I don't know, we're just in the area. We're not even sure if we're directly on that spot. You did, you got too excited. Let it sit, let it sit. Put slack in it and let it sit, dude. That was a fish, that was a good one too. You took off Oh, I do have a fish. I was over here scratching my... I was over here scratching. <laughs> I was over here scratching my head. I looked at him and I said, I'm about to go get my jacket. I'm about to go get my jacket. He 
Sir! 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 <laughs> Keep it in the road holder just real in. <laughs> He's a good one. Pee -pee, pee -pee, go. Did the 30 pounds fit? Dude, he has weight on him. I can see the <laughs> that's, that's, that's a 20, dude. Oh my god, he has weight on him. That's a 20, dude. He has weight has on him. Be a 20. He oh my he's 20, pulling drag. He's 20 plus. He's pulling drag. <laughs> <sighs> There's the video. <sighs> if we just get if we get this band going in. <laughs> just this one fish will be the video. <laughs> Dude, this has to be 20. Oh, 20. This is a 20 plus. Remember mine? That was on 25 pound test. You got 40. Oh, he's, he's coming. It's so muddy, you probably ain't gonna be able to see him until late though. I don't know, he's not small. I don't I know, know if that. He's, at least he's probably 12. Well, he's fine. Oh, that's a blue. It's a damn 20. That's a big blue. This is a 20, dude. That is like a 20. <laughs> take your time, take your time. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, dude. That's what we've been after for a while now. That's a good 20, probably. I finally got your shit out. So. That's a good 20 pound blue. You got the scale, too. Look at this hook. Man. He's hooked better than I thought. In the side of the mouth like he should be, I guess. I was just saying. I don't know if I got it on film. Or in the audio. I was saying, we need to find a blue. This is the first blue we've caught. Yeah. Or is this a giant channel? No, that's a blue. There's that's spots on them. There's spots on them, Samuel. There's no way. This is, this is a channel. No, it's a blue. Look at his anal fin. No, look, there's spots on them. 20 pounds. A 20 pound channel cat. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't destroy my hands. Just lose your net. Okay, one last look at him. A 20 pound channel cat. This is beyond a trophy. A 10 pound channel cat is a trophy, which is like 23, 30 inches or something. To be honest, if that's an actual channel cat, the state record is 26. Look at his anal fin. Look at the spots on him. Get the camera close. This is a channel cat, no doubt in my mind. So let me get a, uh, come over here and record. Oh, he's releasing the motherfucker. Yeah, we are, but I want to get a, a length on him. He's a... 30 incher. Over 30, he was like 30, uh, let's call it 33. Over 30? Well, th probably 33, 35. All right, it's about 1.40. We've had a couple dink bites, and we haven't caught any more fish. Samuel Skunkin, he missed that one fish earlier. I don't know if I put it in or not, but he missed a fish earlier. I caught a 20 pound channel cat, which is pretty fucking insane. Samuel said that the state record is 26 pounds, which if that's true, that's pretty damn awesome that I caught a 20 pound channel cat. I don't think most people catch channel cats that big. And I, you know, if somebody asked me, say, do you believe that there's a 20 pound channel cat in this lake? I'll say, yeah, I would believe them. But the chances of me actually catching that fish, like there's probably only a couple that big in this lake, if not even one. I don't know, that's, that's just crazy to me. I mean, I, who knows, it could be like a dozen, but that's, that's just crazy. I wanna stay out here a little bit longer and see if I can get a couple more fish, get another fish on that other rod. But hell, I, I that was on the new reel right there, so I'm pretty happy with that. The reel I got last week, 20 pound channel cast, the biggest fish I've ever caught. 15 pound striper, 17 or 18 pound common carp, and now a 20 pound channel cat. 
It's the biggest fish I've ever caught. I'm glad I got to break in this new microphone, break in a new reel, and have a good time out here on the lake. It's supposed to be raining before too long. It's not too cold. It's the beginning of spring. Spring season has been treating me well so far within the first week of spring. Caught a damn 20 pound channel cat. Hopefully more catfish to come. That was my goal for the year, so I'm already pretty happy about that. Hopefully you guys got some enjoyment out of this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Deuces.